Hello, I'm Lisa Sorrell. Today I'm wiping the toes into cowboy boots, and so guess what? Today's tutorial is going to be about wiping the toes in cowboy boots. I have the toe box in already, and so now I just have to wrap the leather around the toe box and get all the wrinkles out, and that's called wiping in the toe. These are the boots with the toes in. You'll notice that they've got stitching on the leather that's going to be pulled down. There's stitching. And so the trick is going to be making sure that that stitching ends up looking exactly the same on both toes. And it also has to be in the middle. I've made sure that the leather I'm going to be pulling over is wet. And now I'm going to put a thick coat of Pierce Cleaver on both the toe and the leather that will be pulled over. And now, working quickly, I'm going to try to put this toe box in. First, I'm going to snap this over. There we go. Since this has stitching on the toe, the most important part starting out is to make sure that stitching ends up in the center of the toe. I'm going to put two nails right there. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and do two more nails right on the toe just to make sure that stays centered. Now I'm going to go back and put a nail right at the back of the toe box on each side. Notice how I'm not nailing these all the way in. You'll find out why in a minute. Okay, now it's time to just start trying to get this toe pulled over with no wrinkles. You can see how I'm easing in wrinkles just a little bit at a time. Make sure everything's still going okay up here. Here we go, we've got it nice and smooth. The stitching is right in the center where it should be. That is good. Now the toe is blasted into place. Now comes the wiping in the toe part. So I've got a narrow strip of leather here. I'm going to tack it right behind these nails. And then I'm going to use this strip to wipe out any wrinkles or excess that I might have left. It shouldn't be too much, but just in case, this will be the final step. Pull that tight. And there we go. A neat, smooth toe. There we go. I've got two toes wiped in. The stitching is centered and they match. There you have it. That's one of the primary challenges of making footwear is that you not only have to make one thing beautiful and perfect, you have to make the other one. And sometimes, now these, these toes that I just finished, they were pretty symmetrical. And so even though I had to make them match, they were symmetrical. On the other hand, sometimes you've got something like the this moon and I have to make it not only perfect, but opposite. They're facing each other. 
So think about that the next time you're making something. After you get it made and you're really pleased with it, now think about making it again, only just as good and backwards. And that's what it's like to be a shoemaker. Thank you. See you next week.